Welcome to Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing November the 18th with me, Patrick Munnerly. The dollar lost some momentum after a two week run of gains, but it's still lacking tangible negative catalysts, so it may be able to retain some of its strength over the coming week. Looking at the US calendar, the FOMC minutes from the October 13th, uh, 30th meeting will be released um, and will likely attract most attention. However, the substantial flow of Fed speak in the past week uh, given Fed Powell's testimony, may have diminished the surprise potential of the minutes, which should anyway confirm the well-established notion that the Fed will pause at least until the end of the year and probably well into 2020. True, the US data has been softening a little, but the industrial slowdown is well-priced so far, and the US consumer, like consumers elsewhere in the world, seems to be holding up fairly well. The dollar closed at, uh, at the lows on Friday, I'm now looking for uh, an equidistant pullback to test support down to the 9760, 9780 area. There's a window there for buyers to step back in and give another leg higher to test the anticipated 9880 to 99 resistance level. However, if we don't see bids emerge at 9760, then I'm anticipating a move down to test the ascending trendline support at just below 97. I look for a failure there this time to actually see a move lower to test the 96 target of the broader ABCD pattern. While we're talking about the dollar, let's check in with gold. Uh, gold broke down through the support at the 1480 area and now looks poised to make a test of some confluence support area at the 1440 to the 1430 area. I've been watching for bullish reversal patterns in this area to potentially set long positions targeting initially a move back up to the 1500 level. In Canada, the downside risk stemming from September retail sales and the October CPI should continue to indicate that the core and headline inflation are both around the central bank's 2% target. The gauge has dropped in three of the last four months and another fall may fuel expectations of a BOC cut as soon as December. As long as markets keep taking baby steps to price in BOC easing, the benefit from trade optimism, bar any major breakthrough in US-China negotiations, may continue to be mostly offset by the deteriorating rate outlook. From a technical perspective, the dollar CAD has tested the symmetry swing resistance and sellers have stepped in. I'm now looking initially as we head into the first few days of the week for a test back towards the 130-180 area. A failure for bids to emerge here would suggest that we will likely see a retest of 130.50 support and a failure here will open the ultimate downside target of the descending trendline support down to 128.80. However, if we do catch a bid at 130.180, and I'm looking for another leg of upside to ultimately test the 133.30 resistance level. In the Eurozone, the focus will be preliminary on PMIs as on Friday. In line with the market consensus, it appears that the market is positioned for a marginal rebound in a battered manufacturing gauge, possibly supported by a mitigated downside risk stemming from the trade wars. However, we have seen how minor improvements in Eurozone data are struggling to really drive sustained upside, which may therefore leave the Euro in no man's land testing the 11050 area. A number of speeches by ECB officials, including one by President Lagarde on Friday, complete the calendar, although the bank's recent cautious approach when it comes to policy-related statements and Lagarde's focus on team-building activities suggests little room for fresh policy initiatives and the FX market impact as such. The euro recovered from the 110 support area and now looks poised to initially test 11070. This is an area between 11070 and 111 where sellers may re-emerge and ultimately look for a test down to the 10960 to 10950 support zone. However, if the offers in the 111 area don't prove sufficient, then we could see a retest of the 111.80 en route to the ultimate objective of the ABCD target at 112.50. As per Friday's update, I am long the euro and holding long positions currently risk free. Well, we're talking about the euro, let's check in with the DAX. We duly tested the 13,300 level and we've seen some profit taking and consolidation. 
Whilst there's 13,300 caps, there's the potential for a pullback to test 12,800 as support before a potential another leg higher. However, a failure at 12,800 will open a test of the monthly pivot back down to 12,600. In the UK, next week is pretty light in terms of market moving events. Data-wise, PMIs may point to further manufacturing weakness, but should once again have limited market impact. On the political side, the first television debate between Mr Johnson and the Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn will be the highlight of the week. The general perception of who comes out as the winner may affect some market expectations, although more opinion polls are probably going to be the major driver of the pound over the next few weeks. From a technical perspective, the sterling pound is testing the descending trend line resistance at 129.20. A close over here will be a bullish development, opening a move back through 130, taking out the stocks above, and ultimately I'll be looking for a test of 132. However, if the 129.30 does cap on this third attempt, then I look for a pullback where we retest 127.20 as support. And once again, I've been looking for bullish reversal patterns in this area to set long positions, ultimately looking for a move through 130 and like I say, up to 132. Only a break of 127 will concern this bullish bias, opening move down to test 125. After some recent sharp dislocation, the Japanese government bond market looks a little more under control, helped by a rally in US Treasuries. The BOJ probably doesn't mind the JGB sell-off too much, given its preference to steepen the yield curve and help the local banking system. Barring a surprise breakdown in US-China trade negotiations, the coming week should be a reasonably benign one for the dollar yen. Japan sees October trade data and also the national CPI figure for October. The latter is really a market mover and the call rate expected at 0.4% year over year is still miles away from the BOJ's target. Equally, the market doesn't really believe the BOJ's threat to take rates more negative. In fact, the BOJ has led the way in tiering of deposits to protect the banking system from negative rates. From a technical perspective, the dollar yen has once again tested support at the 108.30 area and bids have emerged. As 108.30 caps the downside, look for a move back up to test 109.50 and a breach there will open the long-awaited ABCD target at 110. However, if we fail to break higher from Friday's reversal, look for a breach of 108.30 to open a test of bids below 108. After depreciating more than 1% versus the dollar this week on the back of poor labour data, the Australian dollar is now facing a period without significant data releases. The RBA minutes from the November policy meeting to be released on Wednesday <coughs> will likely reiterate the now familiar leaving the door open for more easy narrative. However, the latest employment data likely makes the economic assessment in the minutes outdated. Hence, markets are expecting limited impact from the release. The next policy meeting is set for the 3rd of December, which seems a bit early for another cut. By that day, the RBA won't have received any more input from hard data, so a major deterioration in the external backdrop will likely be needed to prompt any more easing. From a technical perspective, the Australian dollar has tested support at the 67.60 and buyers have stepped in. Now looking to see if we can get a breakthrough 68.30 to inject further upside momentum, Looking then for a test of the 69.30 as resistance, and ultimately we have an A, B, C, D target up at 70.25. So if we get a close above the near-term view app on Monday, then I'd be bullish this pair, looking for a, a retest of the 69.30 initially, and then on towards the 70.30 level. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 18th of November.